Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. First of all, apologies I haven't been uploading this week, I've been pretty sick, but I wanted to come back today just to do this video because there's some huge news. Blizzard just announced a new expansion for Hearthstone, it's called Rastakhan's Rumble. Uh, it's set in Stranglethorn, it's kind of featured around a legendary arena where people come together and join this no rules rumble that they're, they're talking about. So it focuses a lot on trolls. We do have a release date, it's December the 4th. We've also seen four new cards, which I'll get into. Um, we've got a new single player, some new bundles, a new hero. So I'll get straight into it and we'll start with the new cards because I always find that the most interesting, obviously. So Blizzard originally revealed four cards um, and as I speak now, they're actually releasing new ones. They're doing um, a Hearthstone update. So there's going to be some more cards. So what I'll do is I'll go quickly through the four cards now and I'll cover these four cards more in depth in another video I'll release later um, with all of the cards they talk about. But for now it's pretty exciting because we've got some pretty cool new cards. The first one is Sharkfin Fan. It's a two mana 2-2. Two -two. Um, it is a pirate so we thought there might be pirates. We're going to see pirates. And he, what his effect is after your hero attacks summon a 1-1 one -one pirate. So it's like Henchclan Thug but instead of giving the minion 1 plus 1 you summon a 1 plus 1 minion. So I imagine this kind of thing to go into token decks. Um, so it's a it's a neutral minion, so it could also go into Evolve Shaman, Token Druid. We'll see, but quite an interesting one. The next one is more interesting because it does introduce a new keyword called Overkill. And what Overkill does is when you attack a minion and you do more damage than they have health, um, it activates the Overkill effect. And this is a weapon called Soul Thrays for Warrior, epic weapon, costs six mana, it has four attack and four health or four durability. And the overkill effect is you can attack again. So what that means, if you if you kill a three health or below minion with this weapon, it means you can attack again. If they've got four health, it will just kill the minion, but there's no overkill damage, so it doesn't activate that overkill. So these are the sort of cards that I like because you'll be thinking about the trades that you make. If you're playing against Warrior, you might not want to leave any minions with less than four health. If you're playing as Warrior, you'll be thinking about how you can manipulate the board with like Warpath, for example, to then make Soul Thrays available to activate the overkill. So I'm looking forward to seeing some more overkill mechanics. I think this one's quite cool. Um, it remains to be seen whether six mana four four is too much, but... Um, I don't know, any weapon where you can use it to effectively clear a board is, is usually quite good as we saw with Super Collider. Next up is Paladin Legendary and this is my favourite one that they've released actually. This is a lower card and there will be lots of primal gods, each class will have a primal god or a primal lower god um, which will be an animal which um, kind of represents that class. And this one is called Shivala the Tiger, costs 25 mana, 7 attack, 5 health and is a beast. It has Divine Shield, Rush, and Life Steal, so a lot like Zilliax without the Taunt, which I think is quite important, but the Divine Shield, Rush, uh, sorry, Life Steal, Rush is just so strong. But it costs one less for each mana you spend on spells. Now, um, Mountain Giant, we've seen very similar to this kind of idea that can be very powerful. And this one, I think, can also be really powerful because there isn't really a downside. The downside is you have to play spells, which often you'll be playing anyway. Um, but it's not a card that you could play early game like uh, Mountain Giant so potentially in aggro matchups for a control paladin this won't be quite as good I don't think so the final card for, t for this video is called Spirit of the Shark it is a spiritual might card every class is going to be getting one of these and I think they kind of shape a kind of new deck for that class um, and this one has stealth for one turn it's for rogue and your minions battle cries and combos trigger twice so it has no attack and three health so effectively this is you spending four mana to set up some kind of combo with battle cries and your combo rogue cards really kind of interesting deck building card um, it costs four mana so you're going to have six if you play it on turn 10 to use the double battle cries and double combos let's just say you play it with eviscerate you can do um, eight damage just for two mana when you play this first so it's pretty good um, the three health and stealth for one turn means that it could potentially last till next turn then you've got another 10 mana to use but um, given the fact that it's only three health opponents can clear it with AoE but maybe you can cube it for example something like that I don't know but some pretty cool um, implications with that I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the spiritual might cards 
So that that's all of the cards are revealed. Like I said, um, they're revealing new ones as I speak. So I'll do another video with all of the cards and more in-depth analysis on these and what I think. So those are the four cards. Um, alongside of, of that, we've also got some information that each class will be getting a legendary champion. Um, we don't have any information on what the champions are. They have released some art um, of each one, but basically they will just relate to that class. I have no idea what the effects will be or what their stats will be, etc. So it'll be interesting to see what those um, legendary champions are like. Uh, so on the whole, I think this expansion looks pretty fun so far. They've they've talked about some a cool keyword, um, introduced a new paladin legendary, which I'm pretty excited about. I like paladin. So yeah, we have to see the rest of the cards, but. Ultimately, I like the setting and I think it could be quite cool. So on top of the, the cards, they also announced that um, we'll be getting a new single player mode. That's no surprise because um, we've had one from the last few recent expansions. And this one's going to be called Rumble Run. So there aren't too many details about it. I imagine it's going to be a lot like a dungeon run. Basically, it's just one where it says you take control of a new hero um, trying to make his way in the, the Rumble arena, basically. So it fits with the theme of the expansion. I expect you'll be going into the arena to fight different bosses with your cards, um, much like a dungeon run. But we'll see. Hopefully, we'll get some more details on that soon. Um, they also talked about two new bundles for the expansion, one of which includes a new um, hero skin. The hero skin is a shaman and it's King Rastakan. Um, it looks pretty cool. Uh, you guys probably know I, I don't get that excited about hero skins, but still it's always nice to have something new in the game. So the first bundle costs $44.99 in English pounds. Um, so very standard price for the new expansion bundles. Uh, you get 50 packs, you get the new hero, and you also get um, the card back for the expansion so i'm not very interested in card backs as you guys probably also know um but the deal's pretty good 50 packs for that price is what you would expect interestingly though um they're not giving any guaranteed legendaries um you will get a legendary out of 50 packs just because of the pity timer but in previous um, bundles they've given us like a guaranteed legendary straight out as soon as you um once you buy it as soon as you log in you get the guaranteed legendary so they're not doing that this time which is a shame but um, hopefully we'll get some good luck in our pack openings. They're also um, releasing the Challenger bundle, and this is kind of a really interesting bundle, a bit, a bit strange to be honest, but it's a much smaller pre-order, so people who haven't got quite as much money to spend can still do the pre-order and get a pretty good deal. So in that respect, I think it's quite good. Um, you get 17 packs, a bit random, but yes, you get 17 packs, and you also get the card back. Um, you don't get the new hero. Um, so interesting but um, I expect I'll probably have to buy both just to get the value because 50 packs often isn't enough for a new expansion um, and that bundle costs 16.99 in um, English pounds so again a pretty good deal for six, uh, for 17 packs all right guys well that's all the information they've released so far there is another press conference later today that they're doing like a what's next for Hearthstone so maybe I'll, ha I'll have to make another video with some more information but for now um, I'm really excited about the new expansion I'm ready for some new cards uh, these cards seem quite interesting to me they look like they might change up the game hopefully they'll be strong enough to push out some of the current meta cards and we'll, we'll get some new play in the new expansion I'm also looking forward to the single player um, I really enjoyed the dungeon runs uh, I thought the Monster Hunt wasn't quite as good as Dungeon Run, but I've replayed the Dungeon Runs quite a lot, and that's just a personal preference thing, but uh, I'm looking forward to that too. So let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think about the new expansion? Are you excited? I certainly am. Uh, thank you very much for watching, though, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.